Some brilliant racing at the recent round of ASBK. And joining us now on Zoom is the man that stole the show from the Herfoss headquarters in Queensland. It's two-time ASBK champ, Troy Herfoss. Troy, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me, Kate, and welcome to my little shack. We just watched a clip of you obliterating the field at Queensland Raceway, an enthusiastic return to form. Was it a relief to know that you can get back to the front and dominate like you did? Oh, what a, it was a huge relief and a big surprise as well. Uh, I, I definitely felt like a good result was coming because we had a, a good test there and I've been building over the last year as everyone's been able to see. But uh, yeah, huge surprise to take such a dominant weekend like that and sort of put myself straight back into the championship battle. It was, yeah, just a crazy surprise, really. I spoke to your crew chief, Paul Free, asking him what had clicked for you. And he said, I know, I just can't tell you. Can you shed any more light there for us? Uh, there's been a, just so much work in the background in um, from, from everyone inside the team. Paul, uh, myself, Charlie, and we've all been, we've all been working hard to try and try and uh, ride the bike in a different way and, and set the bike up in a different way. And yeah, basically just trying to move with the times, really. The bikes are changing and and um, it's a, it's up to me to adapt to the bike. And, and uh, yeah, we're all trying to adapt. Paul's been around for a long time and I've been around for a long time. And uh, what's worked for us both in the past, um, maybe not working now. And we're both, we're both adapting really well to, to what's ahead of us. So, Troy, there's another red bike at the front of the pack. Josh Waters is 22 points ahead, but we still have four more rounds to go. So this championship is still within your reach. Yeah, well, it did seem like it was out of reach uh, going into Queensland um, because it, we just, you know, it's hard when you when you just lose by such a big margin. Um, it seems like it's impossible to get back there, but the reality is, uh, it doesn't matter how much you win by, you get the same points deficit. And um, and I just had such a good round. I managed to half the points gap to Josh in one round. And now we move into a track we're both pretty good at. And then we go to a track that, that I know Josh doesn't really enjoy before we go back to a track that I don't seem to really enjoy. So um, I've got to make the most of these next two rounds. And then who knows, if I can get back to Phillip Island within the championship hunt, um, strange things seem to happen at the end of the year. So... I'm just going to get myself back in the fight and then um, we'll see where we end up. Okay, Darwin, round four is on our doorstep. You had some great success there last year. Are you pumped to get back there? Yeah, I'm really excited to go there. One, because it's probably the best round we have of the year. Um, with the supercars, it's always exciting. The racing there last year was really close. Um, I've had some huge ups and downs of that track. But the main thing for me is um, I know Josh really likes it. I know I really like it. And Mike Jones also has a, had a lot of success there as well. So we're looking at a round, probably the first round of the year, where uh, us three guys are heading into that round, probably with a, a fairly confident opinion of how we can go. So there's been all the other tracks for sort of have been a bogey track for us or, or one, one rider or bike seem to excel a lot. So we're going to this track and there's probably three guys that think they can win the race and, uh, and probably more, to be honest. Uh, but I'm just talking about the guys that have been at the front of the last two rounds. So it's going to be really exciting. So, Troy, I believe that you guys are working with the charity again for the Darwin round. What a great initiative. Yeah, really excited to to work with um, with the same guys as last year. Uh, we're working with Lorraine White. Um, she, she done the livery last year. It's been a uh, massive work in progress, but she's put a hell of a lot of work in. Um, and she's come up with a, a really, really cool paint scheme. Um, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. Um, we're also working with the charity in Melbourne. We're doing all the same stuff as last year and um, looking to raise, you know, upwards of $40,000 if we can. And we've got some really cool stuff to auction off. Um, yeah, super excited to share that with everyone, to be honest. Troy, the bike is looking incredible. Tell us about the Indigenous artwork that we're going to be seeing on the Honda Fireblade for Darwin. It's a, it's a combination of the, the wild honey country, um, which you can see through the bike. It's sort of a um, Lorraine sort of give us a, a bit of an insight of uh, an aerial view of her homeland, basically. Um, and the other side of that is the, is the like the uh, freshwater crocodiles, I guess. 
and you can see that through my number plate uh, throughout the bike. Um, it's it's hard to see without being there in front of it. There's so much detail in it. Um, I really want I want everyone to come past the V8 Civic Car paddock and my paddock at the race and see the bike because there's been a huge amount of detail that Lorraine's put into the bike and um, yeah, it's a second go at it now. So she's had two goes at this bike and and she's doing such an amazing job. So uh, really looking forward to sharing that with you. Now the big question, Troy. A few years ago, you took the win and when you crossed the finish line, you attempted to floss. Will we see more flossing? Oh yeah, that's right. That was a, <clears throat> that was all the rage there for a, a few weeks, wasn't it? I did a terrible, terrible go at that. But <laughs> that was such a good year that I probably was expecting to win that because I was having such a good run. So maybe I practiced it a bit more. But um, uh, these days, Kate, it's not sort of like that for me. I've been fairly surprised when I crossed the line in first place. But hey, we'll look up what the latest social media craze is and I'll try and uh, get this old body to move in that direction. <laughs> uh, so good to chat. Thank you for chatting, Troy. And we'll see you in Darwin. Best of luck. Thanks, Kate. See you there.